Hey. Hey, get the other orange here. Hey. Hey. Get the other one. <laughs> you jump? A jump? Oh, you got it. What? Hi. Who's that? What are you doing? No chew on my phone. Rexy, come on. We're <laughs> trying to steal her treat. Oh, there you found your other one, huh? Oliver is Mr. Eye Boo Boo Cleaner, the official Eye Boo Boo Cleaner of the Merrick household. He does a really good job with Coco. She's the one that gets more eye, eye boogies. And you had to clean what off for yesterday in the backyard. What did she get into? Mud. Or was it? Yes, you were. Yes, you were. Oliver takes good care of you, doesn't he? Mm-hmm.
Okay, it's the puppy's first Thanksgiving. Are you guys ready for your feast? Okay, Lincoln and Ollie have it. Let them out, Nick. Go show, show them what Come mom on. made them here. You, mom made them a plate. Okay, so. You go, Coco. <laughs> what do you have there, son? Turkey. What are they eating first? Mashed well, potatoes. They're eating the mashed potatoes. Okay, Rex went for the mashed potatoes. Okay. We got sweet potatoes. Coco and... has a turkey gone. Oh, Coco's about to be red. Correct. She has a sweet potato. Oh, he's found the meat. He's found the meat. Her meat's he got the game. Yeah. Yeah. She has a lot of his mashed potatoes. Yeah. Come on, finish. Ah, uh, Rex, hey, Rex, look. He's got mashed potatoes on the tip of his Does nose. Does he? Yeah. Let me see you, buddy. It's right like here. good luck getting him to look at you at this point. Okay, yeah. hey, come lick your plate. That's hers. That's her finish. Go oh, on, poppers. Happy Thanksgiving. Sorry for all the crazy ones. Say thank you, Mom, for making us a nice Thanksgiving plate of food. Should I it was tasty. We're going down. Look how she's running. She just got out of her bath. <laughs> she's drying off. You need to wipe his head off. With the towel. Rub his ear. Well, good morning. It is Tuesday, October 4th, 2022, and we're on our second episode of Vlogoweenie. I have not gotten ready for the day. I have to here in about 10 minutes. It's 8.50 to go get ready for work, and then I'll go to work, and we'll see what we do this afternoon. I'd like to make some Halloween cupcakes, and then I do have a recipe I want to do for supper tonight, using up some things we have in the fridge and in the cupboard. Kind of one of those, like, one-pot, use-up things you have kind of meal. So we will do that. But I just want to come on here and say hi and welcome to the vlog. Um, I'm Brooke. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little puppies from a couple years ago. I've just been starting every vlog a weenie with a different month of puppies and just to kind of go through and see them how they were in 2020 to 2021, their first year of life. And they are sitting over here. Rex is chewing on his little pumpkin guy, and Coco has her little pig here. What? Want it? Come get it. Come get it. Come on. See, they're right there. And then there's the pig. Coco, I just gave that to you. I had a little breakfast. I'll have to see which vlog I have the worst bed head in. I hope you're excited to come along with the day with us, and I will see you later. Got some dead spots there. Mm -hmm. What'd you do there? Dig up a plant. I'm sure that's what he did. What happened? 
I'm sure he dug up not like a plant, but like some weeds or something. You know what I mean? Rexy's got some curls in his chest hair. <laughs> that we didn't cut off. So cute. Our fridge at work was a uh, negative five when Dev got to work this morning. Negative five, that's pretty damn cold. And our fridge, not our freezer, oh. our fridge. It's cold it, for a freezer, let alone a fridge. Yeah, our it's freezer really usually cool. runs between negative ten ish and negative five ish, and so then we yeah. emptied it. It was like negative ten by the time Jeez. we were leaving. It's like it, screwed up and it like wouldn't shut off and it just kept making it cold. Well, it did that cold. last week too and then it got a little better, but at the beginning of the school year it was running like 50 degrees. So then they fixed it. Now we're they running negative <laughs> 10. We're waiting to pick up kids and we have a lot of places to go today and we got the poochies with us. So here he comes. So we will talk to you later. Okay, for supper we are making the one pot creamy chicken orzo and I had some orzo up in the cupboard from another recipe and I barely used any and this needs a whole pound but I'm just going to use what I have and then I also had some grape tomatoes. I don't have the whole pint. I probably have a fourth which is going to be okay because not everybody loves tomatoes. I got a six ounce bag of spinach so I might use about half of it and then I bought ground chicken and I'm browning it instead of shredded. We're just sick of shredded so I figured ground chicken would work really well and then cheese and pepper you know and then so on and so forth so I got the chicken going over here as you saw I put some oil in here until it's what's it say in a Dutch oven or large pot over medium heat until shimmering I don't know if that's shimmering it's hard to tell and then it says add your orzo season lightly with salt and cook stirring constantly until toasted about one minute and then you add the water a little more seasoning bring to a boil over high heat and cook this is about seven minutes meanwhile have one pint of grape tomatoes which I already did okay so I'm gonna add the orzo I think I bought this for a soup see like yeah there's like barely any out of there and it says it's a pound so close enough in my opinion add a little regular salt because i don't have kosher i'm gonna get my water quick and check my meat We got the chicken orzo, some croissants, and apples. Yum yum. I'll have to let you know how it is. Are you enjoying your little ice cream cup? Mama found those in the freezer. We might as well eat them. Right? Are they good? 
I guess so. Every day, Coco, every day. Here's my mom's. The red one's doing really good from Walmart. And the purple one's doing really good too. This, what was it, copper orange or something from Menards? I don't know. Just looks kind of bloopy. I don't know if it's the way I planted it in there or what, but I don't know. I've been watering them pretty good. And then all these from Walmart look really good. I'm so really happy with how they've done. Supposed to get pretty cold here in the next couple of nights, so we will see what they look like after that. I am all set up to do my frosting. These are Halloween Funfetti, and then I have the Funfetti frosting with the little sprinkles. Ollie said he will help me sprinkle, so I usually put 12 in here and then 6 in here because I make 18. And I got other people that look like they want to help me. No. These are people cupcakes. You're just going to have to go relax from your walk. So I'm going to get to frosting and sprinkling and yeah. <laughs> I think I can just set one of these out and then fill the rest in. What do you mean? Like I'll just take this one and set it right here for me. So then we can just fit more in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, if you're gonna eat it, yeah, that's fine. That's what I'm planning on doing. Rex, no, get down. <laughs> you're not getting any, you two. Knock it off. She didn't wolf at you. <laughs> yes. Get. Give up. You're not getting any of this. Give up. Give up right now. Look at the fantastic job Oliver did of sprinkling. They're all so even, but he was a little short for this one, but that's okay. Nick sometimes doesn't want sprinkles. Have you tasted it yet, big guy? Mm -mm. No. He picked out the best one for himself. You gotta eat it like this. Ugh. I don't like you take it. Take off the bottom and you put it on top. 
No. And it's like a sandwich. I don't like that. Go, oh. I like the frosting on the top. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Did I dry them out? Mm -hmm. Just a cupcake. Okay. All over approved. Is Nikki going to have a cupcake? Is a frog's butthole water tray? I don't know. I've never talked to a frog. Yes, the frog's butthole is water tray. How many do you think you're going to eat? How many do you think you'll eat when you come up from working on your computer tonight? How many? Probably, what's, three. probably three minimum. What's the most you've ever ate when you've come up from your room at night? Probably four. I think it was four. You're yeah. a thick boy. <laughs> so funny, Oliver. Really, Oliver, so funny. If you really think about it, like four cupcakes is just like one big piece of cake, so it's not that bad. Well, three cupcakes is like a whole row, practically. Well, four is probably a row. Coco gave up. Somebody else has not. Right? You're not getting any. You guys are strong-willed, a.k.a. stubborn. Oh, now she thinks I'm going to feed her. Nope, I'm not. How are you doing today? Good. Yeah, I went back on there and it said I have 50,000 players ahead of me. Did you did you miss your opportunity? No, it doesn't mm. work like that, Mom. Oh. Q <laughs> should never go up, so obviously it's not working properly. No, you don't need to lick my hands. No, no, no licky hands. Us, us. That's why you never play a game on opening day. Well, yeah, but then it just doesn't work and you don't get to play anything fun. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's why I started taking off Mondays instead of Fridays when they come off. Because by Monday, that shit's working. Exactly. Lesson, if you're a video game player, don't expect to play it the first day. Just wait till the next day when they get all the freaking bugs figured out. a single player game, you can play the well, yeah, if it's an online one. Waste of time. Even I know that, and I'm not a gamer. Gamer tips. Gamer tips and tricks. Rook and Paul. <laughs> We're winding down for the night. It's 725. The puppies will go outside here one more time, and Rexy is chewing on a deck of cards. Coco is cleaning herself and playing with their pig. Oh, are you looking pathetic again? Look at him. Why do you do that? Why do you look so pathetic? I'm not going to put you to bed. <laughs> Should I put you to bed? You want to go night night? You want to go night night? You want to go night? You want to go night? I'm going to put you to bed. You want to go night night? Should we go night night? Should we go night night? You want to go night night? <laughs> Rexy, Coco says, <clears throat> You want to go night night? No? <laughs> I'm going to walk in the bedroom and now I'm cleaning up puke. <laughs> okay, thanks for the update. Wasn't planning on it. Okay, hush it. Funny story last night, I went to put Coco to bed and I got her in bed and I come out here and I'm like, Where'd Rex go? Like, where'd he go? I can't find him. He literally was hiding under a blanket on the couch. Like, all of a sudden, I could, like, see his, like, body shape of the pillow under the blanket on the couch. I was like, what a goofball. <laughs> so I think he was just, like, sitting on the couch or something when he was, like, literally hid under the blanket. So uh, he couldn't go to bed. I found him, though. Oh, that was so funny. No. Just like a five-year-old boy. I know. He's so like red red. That was silly. Coco doesn't. She likes to go night nights. But he has been sleeping better at night the last few nights, haven't you? So that's good. I think he's been going to bed a little bit earlier and going potty a little bit later. So I think that's helped. Well, the Orzo. Did I already tell him about the Orzo? I don't know. But the Orzo chicken was good. I mean, it wasn't like 
like just super flavorful. Um, I thought it was really good with like the spinach and the tomatoes. The boys just kind of ate the orzo and the ground chicken, which I don't know, is orzo like a noodle? Almost looks like a big giant noodle rice kind of thing. But no, it was good. We have some leftovers and just simple warm up, you know, good if you don't like a lot of flavor, I definitely think you could add something to it to like flavor it up. Like Lincoln put on some Frank's Red Hot Sauce, so something like that. So I'll definitely link that down below if you're interested in just a meal. I have been trying to use up things in the freezer and the pantry. So I have pumpkin pancakes. I was doing like a dinner ideas or a meal plan. I have pumpkin pancakes up there. So I need to get some bacon to go with that. And then I also have meatballs in the freezer and potato flakes, which I buy those regularly. So I'm going to get a thing of gravy so we can have meatballs and gravy, potatoes. And then um, we have those like little corn, frozen corns. So we'll have that with it. And I got six of those in the freezer that I need to use. So we'll do that. And then... What was the other thing? Oh, I have like my steak drips that I use for Mongolian beef, which I've made several times on my channel and like just a dedicated recipe video. That is one from Home Chef that I remake. So I'm going to get all I need for that really is the broccoli. I have the rice, I have the beef, and then all the sauces and stuff we put on it. So I just need the broccoli for that. And then... Was there another one? Oh, a Sassy Joe's. I have one pack of that left from my Don't Panic Dinners in the Freezer video. And then I have a box of pasta salad from like Aldi up there, like the Suddenly Salad, but it's like from Aldi that needs to get used up and like a half a bag of fries. So I figured I'll get some hamburger buns because that's all I need for that meal. So I have like a few little things and then I have like four or five meals. So I'm really trying to use up. So I have a carton of tomato soup up there, which... I just need to make grilled cheese and tomato soup. I just haven't. I have breadcrumbs that I probably should use up. What else is up there? Oh, there's a few like dessert things I need to use up. I have a few desserts that I need to make. Like I have a couple of like the jello pudding cup, like the dirt and then one's like the beach one. But I don't have any cups, so I need to get cups. I have things for like seven layer bars and the peanut butter rice crispy treats and things like that. Are you making a nest? I love when dogs do this. It's the funniest thing. My mom's dog was just hilarious when she'd do it. He doesn't more than Coco. She doesn't. Is it good? Did you get it how you want it? Yeah, and then you don't even lay in it. And then you go lay <laughs> on the couch. <sighs> he like sat here for five minutes fixing that up and then goes and lays over on the couch. Maybe he gave up. He's like, this is never comfortable. <laughs> we probably, I think he wanted to hide. He couldn't get underneath of it or something. I don't know. You should put him under it. Yeah, I do. It's my nighttime. It's my nighttime. <laughs> That's how he was last night. He was sitting still. I know. What was the funny thing is that he like he was just oh! sitting there. Put my mouth on floor. I got that kid. <laughs> Nick, I think there's something in that blanket. Oh, oh, there you are. Get <laughs> <Damn, yes. laughs> yes, out, boy. Who's a good boy? Is Vixie a good boy? She. Shay? You got a tree? Shay? Come on. <laughs> you remember Shay? Come on. Shay? Daddy got a tree. You better give him a shake. You shake? You shake? Coco's eyes are like, treats? Shake? Treats? No, I don't got any treats. Shake? You've had enough. You shake? Shake? <laughs> you need treats. Shake? No? No? Shake? Why are you being so stubborn? You know Shay. What? Shay? Shay? I watched this reel on Instagram and 
this guy had like his back door had like a gate and then it was just all kind of like patio or whatever and he had to put up a note that says my dogs are not abused they lay like that in the dirt looking pathetic for attention or looking sad for attention so people must have been calling their cops at like this guy doesn't let his dogs in the house or something like that and he goes over to his dog he's like hey you're gonna get me put in jail <laughs> <laughs> I could just see Rex doing that because he like sits there and looks pathetic sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, I know. Look at him. He's like, oh, so sad and neglected. I think he's just tired. <laughs> he's really moving his eyebrows tonight. Who's playing with the the deck of cards he was mad at me when i was squeaking and he like put his hand on mine his paw on my hand <gasps> uh oh <laughs> so we're just gonna chill it's gonna go finish setting up his computer now that i finally have a keyboard yeah now that he has a keyboard bought a new mini mac well i shouldn't say new new to us it's like a refurbished one or whatever you want to call it and realized that the keyboard he had is not compatible with mac because you know mac has to be different but anyways supper was good the day was good the cupcakes everybody said was good so that's kind of how i do my meal plan right now is it's just been going through the freezer and the pantry and like what meals can i make with what's in here and then like for the orzo i just went on pinterest and said what can i make with orzo and that's where i found that it would have been good i think with a few more tomatoes and we could have put a little more spinach in there but that's what i had so i didn't want to overload it especially for the kids because then they were able to kind of like just get the orzo and the meat and i liked it it's definitely good with that that ground chicken i'm just kind of over shredded chicken right now i think we ate it too much so thanks for coming along i hope you enjoyed seeing the puppies from two years ago i was looking through the december ones and that has some pretty funny ones in it that'll be next video and thanks for coming along we'll see you in the next one right please like subscribe and bye <laughs>